Also, a Halloween party turns to a crime scene. Justin Peyton Davidson taken off life support just hours after being shot several times. The alleged trigger man, Delson Sotai, now locked up and his grandfather saying there's more to the story you need to know about. News 4's Caitlin Ogles spoke with him. Sotai's grandfather says his grandson was acting in self-defense and had been harassed. He claims when the party moved outside, the fighting escalated and both of them pulled out their guns. He felt his life was in, uh, under threat by this individual. He was harassing him. Jacob Sotai says his grandson, Delson, called him from the Canadian County Jail Saturday. Hours before, the 20-year-old was at a Halloween party on Reformatory Road in El Reno. Sotai claims his grandson was targeted for harassment due to his race, and at 5 feet 10 inches tall, he was facing a man just under 7 feet. He was under threat by this larger-than-life individual. The guy pulled a gun and uh, shot him three times in the head. Newly released body cam footage shows us what one witness says led up to the gunfire. White guy wanted his street credit. They want to tell each other how tough one another is. My buddy wasn't participating. He was trying to avoid the situation, but the big guy was pressing him on, I'm cool, I got my stripes in the hood. As the investigator questions so tight, the officer wearing the camera walks off. I was in front of him trying to help him calm down and the next thing I knew he was collapsing in my arms and on the ground. Davidson was brain dead. At 7.57 p.m. I had to decide to pull the plug. Meanwhile, Sotai stayed on scene. He stayed there and, did, and didn't run away because he thought he was okay. And El Reno has historically been one of bias and discrimination and challenge for our native people. Uh, and so the immediate assumption by law enforcement was that he was the instigator and perpetrator. His grandfather, the vice chairman of the Kiowa tribe, says he helped raise his grandson. I held him in my arms five minutes after he was born and uh, I gave him the name Baby. He says this is the first time the 20-year-old has been in trouble. Delson is a good boy. Sotai says his grandson was a star football player for Norman High School. He believes he is a family man, not a murderer. A hard worker, uh, very compassionate, very caring. Two families struggling to come to terms with a night of fun that turned terrifying. The last thing you expect ever is to bury your child. My heart goes out to them. I mean, it could have been my baby. And I will say we just got the body cam video and it's an hour long. So we're going to dive more into it at 10. Meanwhile, police say they're not aware of an investigation being conducted on the basis of race.